You are looking live at Launchpad 6 at Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where it is just past 5 a.m. on Friday morning in the frigid pre-dawn hours. In your view, a Soyuz 2.1A rocket, fully fueled, ready to lift off 24 minutes from now to send the Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft without a crew on board on a two-day journey to link up to the International Space Station. Soyuz MS-23 is the replacement vehicle for the Soyuz spacecraft that was damaged last December, losing its cooling capability, rendering it available only for emergency purposes. And engine sequence start has begun. Engine ignition confirmed. The engine's throttling up. Now at full throttle. Turbo pumps at flight speed and liftoff. A new ride back to Earth for Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin takes aim on the International Space Station. Twenty seconds into the flight, roll program confirmed. Engines uh, reported to be operating normally from the blockhouse at Baikonur. 38 seconds into the flight. The Soyuz arcing out to the northeast. Good structural stability on the vehicle. Pressure in the tanks reported to be nominal. We're coming up on the one minute mark into the flight. Passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Flight reported to be going by the book, one minute, 20 seconds into the flight. All structural parameters are reported to be normal. The engines are performing as planned. First stage separation is planned about 20 seconds from now. Standing by for first stage separation. And we've had escape tower jettison and first stage separation. Second stage separation confirmed. Third stage engine up and running. Five minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Three minutes and 40 seconds of powered flight remaining. Third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Onboard computers uh, now will uh, command uh, the deployment of the appendages, the uh, solar arrays, and you can see them begin to unfurl. Navigational antennas will be deployed as well. And we now have confirmation that all appendages have been deployed, the solar arrays deploying as planned, as are all the navigational antennas, a nominal ascent for the uncrewed Soyuz MS-23, a perfect ride to orbit for the vehicle that will bring home Frank Rubio, Sergei Prokopiev, and Dmitry Patelin later this year.